Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, show you how to make a splice in double braid. This is a piece of 10 mil. What we need is a 10 mil fid, um, a marker pen, a pair of scissors, and it's useful to use a smaller fid to splice the core in. To start this splice off, we take the end of the rope and we're going to lock it off on a pin. First of all, we take the 10 mil fid and mark one fid length down the rope. That's going to form the tail of the splice. Now we form the eye, and uh, depending on what size you want the eye, uh, make a mark on the other side of the rope like that. We're going to take a little slack from the cover up to the second mark, and at that point we're going to open the cover and take the core out. To do this, just pull a couple of stitches aside with the fid and then using the fid work around the core and pop the, pop the core out. It's important to keep the core in one piece when you do this. We take the core all the way out. At the exit point on the core we're going to make a mark pull that out. Then we're going to take the fid and the measurement is two thirds of the fid and we're going to make a second mark on the core. Now we're going to take the cover and we're going to feed it back through the eye of the splice. So we load the fid and at the first mark on the core we're going to go in through the cover, push it around, just keep going past the neck of the splice and out. Pull that all the way through. At this point it's good to check that you can still move the core freely in and out of the neck of the splice. Then we take the cover, again we load the fid, this time using the bigger fid, and we're going to go in at our mark, and we need to cover a one fid length. Once you've covered one fit length, you can come out, pull that all the way through. We're going to taper the core down to make the splice neater and to add strength. So pull, it, pull up the slack and take out some stitches from the cover, slowly working down the rope. So we've done that. I'm going to cut these off with scissors. Just take the end. Now we can pull the cover back down to bury the, the core back down to bury the cover, and we can take this and pull this, making sure we don't twist the core as we pull it in. So you smooth down all the slack in the in the splice and then the what's going to be the eye. And to finish this, all we need to do is pull the slack back over and pull the core back inside the rope. So we start by just milking up towards the eye. Keep milking the slack up. And to finish, you need to hold the, the eye of the splice and just milk the slack up over the core until it pops in. There we have it, one finished splice.
final trim is just to pull this slack up a little bit on the core, cut that free. And then pull down the, the eye, so you bury the tail. There we have a double row splice.